Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Marcus Aurelius, and this is Dominions 4 Thrones of Ascension Sunday, Bloody Sunday. I hope everyone's doing well. If you haven't had a chance, I'd like you to check out my videos with Tokshin. We did a multiplayer Blitz game, which was a ton of fun, and uh, those are going to be some great videos. One's going to come out each day, and I encourage you to go to his page and look at his videos because it's the same game, same battles but a different perspective, and I think that's kind of neat to be able to see a multiplayer game from start to finish with both perspectives. Let's see what's going on. We researched another level of alteration. Marcus Aurelius cast Infernal Tempest, which summons Storm Demons. Augurus did not find anything. Yagnocula is casting Blood Rite, which gives him vampires, just the regular kind. Doss is still casting Reign of Toads on various provinces of Agartha to slow down their production. Tokshin has cast Infernal Crusade, more Demon Knights. Twink Professional is doing the same thing. Surreal has cast Infernal Forces. I'm going to start doing. I'm going to stop doing that because I've run out of Blood Slaves. I know, right? Crazy. And the Devils and the Imps just don't. I mean, they're cool and all, but I don't even know how to get them out of Surreal's province because anybody who goes in there gets horror marked. So I'm trying to avoid that. Darkhawk is casting Forces of Darkness, which summons the Shadow Demons. So we have Shadow Demons, Devils, Demon Knights, and the Storm Demons. The only ones we're not summoning in Moss are the Ice Devil, not Ice Demons, and that's just because I don't know how to do that. They come one at a time in the Five Gates, Ritual of the Five Gates spell, but that's a little slow for me. Okay, Battle in Kopos. Agartha is attacking us with a bunch of heavy cav, a Ketonian reanimator, and a Ketonian alchemist. Now, it's worth bringing up here that it was brought to my attention that these gentlemen are actually from Ulm. They're originally from Ulm, but they were kicked out because Ulm, as you know, doesn't like magic very much. And so they ended up in Agartha. And that's an interesting thing. I, I, you know, it's little things like that, you know, little bits of lore that I miss, and so I'm glad that was brought to my attention, because that's really cool. So we have our usual blind fighters, and we have two water elementals. We have a bunch of undead, and on my side against them is basic province defense, who are who have been finished, it looks like. And we took out two units. Great. The Royal Forest, Agartha versus us. Okay, I don't think anything is here. Well, they're... Okay, I have some guys. I don't know, this might just be province defense. And, uh, they have their gelatinous cube, which is neat. Oh my. Someone here is a good mage. Who is it? Could it be you, Urkaborn? No, Ratchus. Ratchus, here he is. Oh, it must... Huh? How could he cast Falling Frost? He doesn't have the paths for it. Is there someone else named Ratchus? Two Ratchuses. And he... Okay, two water. He cast Falling Frost. Wow, they are just tearing us apart. The lizards are already running. Agartha is... is they're putting up a spirited counteroffensive, I gotta say. We lost 22 rangers, and they lost 8 per 8 people. Okay, counterattack. We are attacking Bergamum. Oh yes, this is Raphael. They took this province, and I was very upset about that. However, unfortunately, they seem to have moved elsewhere. Oh well, it'll be more fun for Raphael. And of course, he was victorious. Phrygia. Okay, this is one of their fortresses, and we are moving a large force in here. And just before we get started, I stole the Living Mercury bottle from them, so now I have a Living Mercury on my side. But I think I made a mistake, because he creates a poison cloud, and he starts off right next to all my leaders and mages, which is probably a bad idea, now that I think about it. I have Electo here as well. I have opted to use him as a battle caster, rather than a super combatant. And, yeah, hurry up. Get out of there. Okay, good. So he's away from my, my captains and whatnot. Tolmac II is still apparently okay. 
so is Lord of the James clan. I mean, I'm not sure exactly what... I'm not sure what a poison cloud does exactly. We'll see if... Oh, it's the cloud is still there. Yeah, my rangers are getting poisoned. That's no good. Electo is casting a spell called Weapons of Sharpness, which is a very expensive spell. It, ca it takes five earth to cast. I, I don't... I'm not sure who he cast it on, but it gives them magical weapons or armor piercing weapons at least. I, I wish I would have seen who he cast it on. That would have been helpful. Now he's casting Legions of Steel. Tolmax II is still okay. I guess they escaped harm. And, okay. Wow, they ran just after seeing our... Our... Foul spawn. Okay, so obviously we, we won that. Nope, 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 nope. We won that. We lost two rangers and a foul spawn. The two rangers are probably because of the poison. Under Mountain. Okay, we have a huge army here of our heroes. And look at this, folks. We have a hero of Agartha. Kinbreaker, the Onyx Oracle. This guy means business. He is He's a tough cookie. And I have some terrible news to share with you. Look at this piddly little force of nothingness. Compare it to my great and mighty army casting spells of plenty. It seems like they wouldn't even have a chance. And they don't. They're going to lose this battle. However, however, it pains me to say, but it happens so fast, we might miss it. We are going to lose our prophet, Ulf, here. He is going to be, unfortunately, taken down by a smite attack from their hero. You can see we're doing quite a bit of damage to him. More than, more than half of what it takes to kill him. And there's our friend Ulf here. Let's take it off speed. Here he comes. Keep hitting him. Our Hokemeisters are about to enter the fight, and he dies. Wait, actually, okay, so it wasn't... I thought he's the one that killed Ulf here. I know he was killed by a smite. We'll just pay attention. Who's left? This is awfully confusing. These aren't even priests. Okay, we have to watch this carefully. Okay. See? Something just happened. You see that little little smite blast? Where is that coming from? Okay, by the way, this... This is all fear. We have Tolmac II. Or, sorry, Herzog Yan here with this horror mark who's still kicking... Wait, was he hurt? No, I guess he's... Well, I guess a little bit somehow, but... Okay, we're fighting. We're shooting arrows. Alright. Holy Avenger. Thorismund. I, am I missing something here? Crossbowman, on back the mounted commander, heavy crossbowman, Trakan, heavy crossbowman. I, I have no idea. All right, well we're still watching. There's Ulf here. Okay, the battle continues. We're beating them back. There's Ulf here again. Okay, he seems to be completely safe. All of our guys are spelling up. We're firing some arrows. I'm still looking at him. Let's move in a little bit. There he is. Boom! What just happened? You saw that. He just got hit by something with 21 damage. It looked a lot like a smite, but nobody was smiting. 
what was that? Was it you? No? Okay, so a random bolt from the heavens fell down upon poor Ulf here and killed him, and I could not, for the life of me, tell you why. And that was that. So we won the battle, took out an Onyx Oracle, their hero. We lost 16 troops of our 125, we killed 20, and Ulf here magically died for no reason that I could possibly see. Dragon Ridge. This is Barabel. And he's coming back to the site of our defeat where we were pushed back from the forces of Agartha, or by the forces of Agartha, and look at he is making sure that they remember that, and remember that once we held this land. Oh, these demons, man. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. Good job, sir. Good job. Glanis. Agartha's attacking me. Man, they're, they're sure getting very uppity. Oh, wow. And they're bringing heavy cav, entrance guard, blind fighters. They have the, the cave drake riders. Man, they, all, they're they just recruiting all their good stuff. And up oh, here come the heavy cav. Right back where my leaders are. Their fire drakes going a little crazy back there. Luckily, the heavy cav are stupid, and they are not attacking our leaders. Not that it matters a whole heck of a lot, because we are getting trashed. And we are running. We lost three wolves, and we took out 22 of them. Nifle. Again, another counterattack. They are attacking Dragon Strike. Yes. Good luck, friends. Good luck. Another Alchemist. They're trying to smite and banish Dragon Strike. He's having absolutely none of that. That's just not getting smited. Smote? Getting smoked is not on his agenda for today. And he survived with no injury whatsoever. And finally, we are attacking Pangea in Nace, I guess? Nace? Nace? Oh yes, we are assaulting a new castle since we captured last turn their previous one. This has this army is unique for having three Hokemeisters. Helm Hammerhand. King Midas and Gustav the Grave. It also contains the ghoulish forces of King Strategist and Andrew Trespass is the leader. There's also hidden away somewhere Dimitrik von Schmirnov who is attacking with his magical bow. Andrew has been given a Horn of Valor which makes him very inspirational. He has also been given a Pendant of Luck to keep him from getting killed and he has himself an ethereal crossbow. Dimitric, if I can locate him. Okay. The ranger captains need like a red cloak or something to differentiate them. There he is. Dimitric has also an ethereal crossbow. He's been given the enchanted... Well, he's always had the enchanted ring armor, and now he has a barkskin amulet as well. Just in case an arrow should hit him. And they're getting iron blizzarded. And we won that. I do not believe we even lost. We did lose three infantry. Okay. So that's the story. Um, populations dying, of course, going into the thing. There was an assassination attempt on Tokshin. <laughs> uh, I hope Tokshin's watching this, but you know, he might not be. He's very busy. He puts up something like 10 videos a day. But let's see. Let's see if Tokshin gets assassinated. My money's on no. Wow, aren't you a pretty little thing? You are Fear Tongue, the ghost. And Tokshin, well, Tokshin's been eating a little much, it looks like. He's got a little bit of a, a belly, and he has three blood slaves to hang out with him, keep him company. Let's see how this ghost does, huh? 
And no. Bye bye, ghost. <laughs> Tokshin just the whole time, he didn't, he didn't even uncross his arms. He was like, what is this? Got a 318 gold. A battle in Anidra, huh? A barbarian horde has attacked and pillaged our province. No kidding. We don't take kindly to barbarians around here. And, uh, they hit like a ton of bricks, though, let me tell you. They were no protection, though. So even the mightiest of barbarian hordes are afraid of bowmen. All right. Pangea's been breached, but we are not storming anytime soon. I'm going to starve those jerks out. And okay. So, I've already moved, as per my new policy, where it takes twice as long to um, get an episode ready than it does to actually record it. I am moving Raphael back down to take this large army here. Hopefully we'll catch them, but we won't. I'm sure they'll probably, probably attack here. We're moving everybody out of Phrygia because they're starving, and that's not a good thing. So we're going to take this province back and figure out, try to get maybe some... I'm creating a lot of food items, so that'll help. These guys are just sitting pretty at Midgard. As a rem reminder, it's Feeder Von Soup and Hyrokel. Lano is just hanging out, waiting, um, because we have, we have as many troops here as we can in Undermountain, although we are one less now without Ulf here. We, we have, If you see, my supply usage is very close to the supply availability, and that's kind of the trouble here. So... This is Shadowback, Holmgar, JC Destroyer, Gustav, Von Bergwerk Glass. Are you diseased? Yes, you are, and you're mute. Well, that doesn't hurt, hurt your magic, okay. So, as you know, the disease is still rampant, I believe, throughout the world. We are. Oh, yes, of course. And so, I had Eldrick Von Spleenfest come here and build a temple, because we cannot recruit nuns until he does so. Pangea is Unit 171, Opal Warrior, and a bunch of guys without names. I have Dave the Cave with an army of demon knights rushing to the front. I have given Dave a shadow cloak, a protection from arrows, and another death booster, but I have not given him instructions, which is kind of silly. Let's put these guys. These guys are a flanking force, so they're going to hold and attack rearmost, and Dave here is going to... What are you going to do, Dave? You're going to make yourself invulnerable. Well, you're already invulnerable, so that's kind of stupid. We don't want to do that again. Okay, so what you're going to do is just, you are going to Skeleton Horde up and down. And then cast spells. Okay, and Dave, I'm going to put you up with your with your boys here. Next, we have, well, Toshin's just hanging out. He keeps summoning slaves. I don't know what to do with them, really. And Sean is entering the battlefield with his... Frostbrand, Aw Shield, Horror Helm, Ethereal Cloaks, Boots of Stone, Arrow Protector, and Luck Pendant. Just like Opal Warrior, only I couldn't get him enough Zweihanders, so he's going into battle with some Zweihanders and some Pikemen. They are both moving up north. We are still sieging Winna. Um, the problem here is also supply. We can't break down the walls, but we don't have enough supply to increase the troop numbers here. Winna is Nimenok, and I believe that's it of people that we know. So we're pretty much sie sieging every capital they, our castle they have. Surreal's just researching, as is Marcus Aurelius, because as you see, we're out of blood slaves. Doss is continuing to do his thing. We have Yednocula summoning vampires. Darkhawk summoning uh, d demons of shadow. Vampire Batman's sneaking to the south, because we need to take up these demon knights down here. And Mayhem is summoning vampires of his own. Grimwald, you have a lot of guys. Can we move you out? We should. He's 80 of 80. I don't know why I'm not doing that. So let's move Grimwald out. Probably the best place for him to go. One, two, three. Okay, we'll move him over here. We can do two at a time. So that'll be helpful. Meanwhile, I've done everything I can to protect Katarina. I've get, taken away all of her blood boosters. She's no longer casting spells. She has the Pendant of Luck, the Ring of Warning, which gives her more defenders in case of assassination. She has the Boots of Stone, and she has something called the Moonblade, which really sucks because it's two-handed, but... I think it's good because it's times two versus magical beings, and it gives her three defense and has a length of three. So if the horror should get to her, she should be able to give it a good whack. Um, I don't know what to give her as far as body, because ethereal, as I said, is probably worthless, being as she is being attacked by a horror who's already ethereal and has magical attack. So I'm giving her an astral hat, which will boost her magic resistance in case the horror has magic, and then I'm giving her what's called rainbow armor, 
which uh, also gives her, I believe, magic resistance. So yeah, that's coming next turn. We are summoning more Demon Knights down here with Twink Professional. And Alaric is now sight searching because we have enough of the air things now. In fact, we have a ton of items to, that I don't have guys to utilize. So there's that. I was going to give Katarina a water elemental bodyguard, but she can only have two miscellaneous things. And I felt the luck pendant was a better choice in this instance. And that's all, folks. I'm sending Crazy Man out here, or Barabell out here. Um, Dragon Strike is coming up here. The two of them are just going to attack every non-fortress province of Agartha, nail them hard. In the meantime, I do have Crazy Man here, and he is moving. I guess he can only move one at a time, being as he is a being as he's an ice devil. So that's what he's eventually going to join the fight as well. In fact, Bathin, I'm going to send you down Surreal to pick up some troops. That's what I'm going to do with you. And all these guys are just waiting for troops. They're just sitting there minding their own business. I'm also moving a ton of the members of the second tier or whatever are here, or illuminated ones. Illuminated ones. I have ten of them coming here. I think more than that even. And they're going to shut down. I have these four working on this one, but it's taking forever. If they're only up to 42 unrest. We're still above 100 here, though, which is really nice. Okay, so let's see what happens. This is getting really long. <laughs> There's just so much going on here. But it's fun, you know? It's fun, and we're almost there. Auspex, we found nothing. Reign of Toads, Infernal Crusade, Forces of Darkness, Arcane Probing. We did find a new site, yay. Augury, nothing. Infernal Crusade, Blood Rite. Hippolyta has found a magic site in Gnome Peaks, Canyon of the Wild Winds. That's an air generation site. Pangea has a new prophet. All right, Agarth is attacking us in Pavonia. Um, I don't believe I have anything too special here, but I do have defenders. I have Voldan. Shaikal is the is the real commander. He's the one that I brought from from home with some troops. I don't know though, even with all that, I'm not sure. We'll see how we do. We have a lot of pikemen. Now if this were real life, pikemen would do be excellent against cavalry, but this is not real life. And as you can see, they are not they are not doing particularly well. Okay, so Agartha's becoming kind of annoying. Even random heavy infantry held out longer than pikemen. We Lost 21 Pikineers. The rest fled, I assume. Both of our leaders has fled as well. We took out only six of their fellows. Silvermark. Alright, this should just be province defense as well. They're not bringing as much to the table here. Oh, but it's... I thought I had more province defense here since it's been attacked so many times. And they're going to get the... They're going to get the... Oh, they're leaving the commander alone. That is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. But I still think they're going to win. I mean, Agartha is really getting a second wind here. They are, yeah, with their undead and... Yikes. Yeah. Alright, so they took Silvermark as well. They lost only five heavy cav. Alright, I'm attacking in Jome. This is Dragon Strike? Yes, it is. Against, well, nothing. We are making short work of them. Dragon Strike, Slayer of Priests. All right, easy, easy peasy. We took out a priest. Kopos. All right, this is our large army that was previously in Phrygia. Oh, and I forgot to move the elemental. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, well. I think we won. What do you guys think? We lost three rangers, two thralls. Royal Forest, we are attacking as well. This is where we found a magic site. Oh yes, this is... This is Raphael. And it looks like a pretty steep battlefield, so it's a good thing he can fly. Not that the game has any kind of mechanic for that. Like, you don't get tired if you go up a hill or whatever. You took out one Barbarian Chief. Well, good for you. Trankabor, they are attacking us. I don't think so, folks. Not only do we have a pretty good defense, we also, in this case, have 
Barbell. This is Barbell, right? Yes. So, unless Barbell accidentally kills one of our guys with his Chill Aura, these guys are pretty much done for. Please don't do that, Barbell. And no one here has a name. It's just random priests and guys I've put on defense. And Barbell, of course. And here he comes. Oh, hi, Tree. The battle might be over before he gets there, even with this, even with this quickness. Barabell, Barabell, he sends all of my enemies to hell. Which is where he's from, so that's kind of, I guess, thematic. <laughs> uh, yes, anyway, we won. And we took out 30 of their guys. Okay, so they are... They are, they are putting forth a spirited counterattack. More gold, good. Less gold, bad. Pangea, Winna, and Emnace are all breached. Midgard is breached. And somebody's still in Phrygia because they're repairing the fort faster than what? And Kopos, diseases, diseases. Oh, well, so let's just go to Silvermark. Let's put up some defense here. Luckily, we still, despite the fact that our population is dwindling due to our spells, we still have some money. Let's get, first of all, let's move. Okay, Tolmac. I don't, I'm going to take this away from you. I don't want you to die. I like you too much. Who should have it? Electo, I believe, is poison resistant. So, and, and we'll just, what we'll do is, he's also arrow resistant and pretty much everything resistant. So we're going to have him here. That way, okay, I think, or here. That way, no one should be harmed in the making of this alchemical contraption and he is of course poison resistant and he has regeneration okay so we do have we still have a random guy here which I guess is fine and these guys are still here I did send leaders to both of these provinces to load up some rangers I guess they'll be useful in defense I'm just gonna waste some money because I, I don't want to keep having to chase these guys around 30 that's no, sorry at 44 and this guy was already already diseased, so I figured just hanging out in a province that causes disease is not going to do him any harm. And there's there's that. Okay. Meanwhile, we got to get Vampire Batman here to pick up his his knights, and Raphael is going to try to head these guys off at the pass. Twenty five here. Now we have many troops, so Barbell is going to go here. Dragon Strike is going to go here, and Crazy Man is going to go here. We'll cut them off. Now they might decide to move south. A hundred units, really? I didn't think there were that many. Maybe just bad intelligence. We'll see what they do. And here's Ascalon. He's coming down here to get his disease healed by the nuns that we can now recruit. I just want to show you guys. We have two choices. We have a nun or a sister. Now the sister is cheaper and they both heal. She's a disease healer one and a nun is a disease healer one. So they both do the same with regards to disease healing. So why would I want a nun? Oh, a nun's a priest level one. I don't care about that. So sisters, they basically do the same thing. Okay, good. Ascalon will be healed hopefully next turn. Hippolyta, founder of Canyon of the Winds. Two air gems, nice. She's going to... Any more mountains? Well, whatever. She can come here and search that. And okay, folks. I'm going to call this one an episode. Uh, I'll, I'll plan out my moves for the next one. But as you can see, we, Katarina still lives. We can give her... God, we have so many items. The rainbow armor and the hat. Okay, so now she should have 27 magic resistance. That's pretty good. So this, this horror is not going to hurt her with spells, certainly. It's only going to be physical, where she has now 21 protection due to her boots and her armor, and a 12 defense, which could be better, I suppose. But it's, you know, the weapon gives her plus 3. Eh, we'll see. And of course she has all those ghoul guardians watching her back. So she's ready to go. She's, when she gets attacked by a horror, we're going to see, we're going to see what her true metal is. And you can see our tons of demon knights here. We have, well, we have tons of everything here. We need to start moving some troops out. And... That requires commanders. So actually, let's get major captains again. And 
So Toshin has more as well. Yep. And Surreal wasn't doing anything. Let's see what we got here real quick before I end the video. So we have a ton of Fiends of Darkness. They're the ones with the 30 hit points. And they're okay. They're the ones that are kind of average and everything, I guess. And the Vampires, which this is a... I don't like this sprite at all. They look they look really weak. It looks like it's just some pale dude in a bed sheet. But hey, whatever. They are invulnerable. So... All right. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for watching. I, uh, again, watched the videos of Tokshin and I doing our multiplayer soiree, and thank you very much. Have a good one.